Now we go to Washington and that very high state's political game of chicken ratcheting up today. As you know, August 2nd, America will default on its debt if politicians don't act, and the default would wreak havoc with our jobs, credit cards, and savings. A big emergency meeting ended late today at ABC's Jake Tapper on what happened. He's at the White House. Jake. Good evening, Diane. Well, the meeting broke earlier this evening after roughly an hour and 45 minutes of negotiations, and there is still no light at the end of this economic tunnel. Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell this afternoon presented the unusual proposal to empower the president to raise the debt ceiling while Congress votes to disapprove. I still want to cut spending. I was hoping he wanted to cut spending without extracting, as a condition for cutting spending, what we believe are job-killing tax increases. President Obama told CBS News that if this impasse is not resolved before default day, August 2nd, there will be an immediate effect on Social Security, veterans' benefits, and Medicaid. I cannot guarantee that those checks go out on August 3rd if we haven't resolved this issue. This is turning into a laugh, except it's nothing funny about it. Former Republican Senator Alan Simpson, who co-chaired the Deficit Commission, said the American people are rightly disgusted, and he's personally bothered by Republicans undermining any chance of Speaker Boehner compromising. If that's the stuff that's going on in my party, uh, where the pettiness overcomes the patriotism, it's disgusting to me. And Diana, Democrat familiar with negotiations, said that there was an, in this evening in that room a growing, re growing recognition they need to put aside the talking points and get to work. But Diane, the clock is ticking.